Elma here with another Xcode tutorial. This is a follow on tutorial from my UI image view tutorial. If you haven't already seen that, go watch it here. If you have, then uh, today in this tutorial, as I said in the last one, we're going to be creating a fade in, fade out animation for our image so it doesn't just disappear. And here I've just got a demo of it, so it's our same application, but this time it will fade out and fade in. So uh, click the button, as you can see fades out and uh, click the button again and it fades back in. Um, so today we're going to be using a framework called Core Graphics to um, get the animation and then we're going to use the begin animation animation stuff to uh, show the animation. So without further ado uh, I'm going to go open up my image view project that we used last time. Today we don't need to go anywhere other than the .m file because that's where all the code is going to go. We don't need to change anything else. Um, so to start with, go outside the brackets but before the if statement and press enter and type in cg context ref space and then I'm going to call this the image image, there you go, context just so we can refer to it easy and that equals so space equals space UI graphics get current context so UI graphics get current context and there should be two parentheses at the end so yep end it with a semicolon there and uh, now in the if statement we're not going to use the dot hidden anymore we're going to use the dot alpha now the dot alpha is basically how transparent the image is so if it's one it's not transparent if it's zero, it's transparent. So we're going to delete the dot hidden and we're going to type in dot alpha space equals equals one. So if the image alpha is equal to one, so if the image is actually there, we can see it, then we're going to do our animation. So delete this image dot hidden and here we're going to go open square brackets, UI view, begin animations and it should auto complete nil and then in this context we're going to name it the context up here which was called image context so we're going to go image context uh, and close square brackets semicolon now we're going to set the uh, type of animation so that's going to be open square brackets UI view set animation curve and that should also auto complete and then we're going to go UI view animation and then it's going to auto complete and we're going to go curve ease out close square brackets oops close square brackets and semicolon now we're going to make how now we're going to tell xcode how long the animation is going to be um, and that is declared in seconds so we're going to go open square bracket ui view uh, oh missed something there ui view there you go set animation duration and uh, as I said this is in seconds so I'm going to make mine three seconds long uh, just put the number three you can have 3.5 if you wanted you can have points but for now I'm just going to leave it as three and close square brackets and semicolon now we're going to set the delegate and the delegate is self in this one because we've got the delegate files up there so it's going to be open square bracket UI oops I keep missing that UI UI view set animation and we'll type delegate uh, yep and like I said it's going to be self so it's close square brackets semicolon and now we're going to put what we want our animation to kind of do at the end of it so what's going to be the end result of our animation and obviously we want it to disappear the image so we're going to type image not yeah image dot alpha space equals space and as we want it to disappear the alpha is going to be zero because it, that's transparent so zero point not comma zero point zero and semicolon so basically what this does here here it sets the it begins the animations and sets the context which we declared up here this one sets the type of animation it's going to do and it's an animation curve and it eases it out 
The next one is setting the time or how long the animation will take. That The next one is setting the delegate, so that's going to be self. And the last line is telling it what the end result is, so it's going to set the image to nothing or be alpha. Um, so there you go, that's it for that if statement. Now moving on to the second if statement, it's going to be pretty much the same but in reverse. So if we go into here and change it from dot .hidden to dot, dot .alpha equals, and instead of 1 this time it's going to be 0, 0.0 because the image has now disappeared. And again, delete this image.hidden bit. And basically copy and paste what we just typed up here into here. Now we need to make a few changes in this to make it the opposite. So I'm going to change the curve ease out into curve ease in, because that's the opposite of out. Uh, the, the animation duration and delegate can stay the same, but the alpha of the image is now going to change to 1 because now we want the image to come back. So uh, change that to 1. And finally, all we need to do now is go outside this if statement. So outside, and then at the end here, we're going to tell it to do the animations and play them when we press the button. So it's going to be open square bracket UI view. And that's going to be commit animations. Close square bracket, semicolon, save and uh, we can build and run. So here's the simulator launching the app and uh, here's our image and uh, like I showed you at the start hit the button it now fades out and it should take three seconds and uh, change the button title and click it again and it fades back in. Um, so there you go guys just a quick tutorial on image views and uh, how to make them look nicer for fading in and out instead of just disappearing. Um, I don't know yet what I'm going to do for my next tutorial, I know a bit silly of me, but um, the annotation anyway should appear as normal here. So go click on that, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, and if you have any ideas on tutorials, don't forget to post them as well. See you in my next video.